all right so let us start learning depreciation with the simplest method out there and that is a straight line method so what is a straight line method in a straight line method you charge an equal depreciation charge to each year of the asset life that is basically the fundamental definition of a straight line method now just to revise the straight line let us take this example uh, and please ignore everything that is mentioned at the bottom of the sheet we are just focusing at this area now at this moment so the cost of the asset is a million dollars and salvage value or call it residual value or call it resale value or a scrap value whatever you like that is 200,000 and the life of the asset is five years and we are supposed to use the depreciation method of a straight line so first of all let us calculate the straight line method uh, depreciation charge using straight line method per year and that will be same for each year i'm doing it here so the first thing that we do is cost minus residual value that is here cost minus residual value and then we have to divide it with the useful life and just to make sure that answer comes correct i have to apply i should apply the brackets here as well cost minus residual value and divided by useful life so you can see that the answer here is 160,000 so that will be the depreciation charge per year and that will be for all the five years equal depreciation each year so if I just copy paste it for five years you will see that now you can first of all you can notice that we are having some errors here and the reason for that is very simple if I can just open this formula you will see what is happening so Excel is basically going one step ahead because we are going one step ahead here and this is called relative reference so we are not uh, using relative reference here I, I want to make sure that when I move forward to year two three and four and five my cells only these cells are getting used so what I have to do I have to go back and before I copy paste I will go to each cell and I will press F4 and by doing so we call it locking the cells and now you will see that if I copy paste the depreciation will be calculated correctly and you can see it here each year has been calculated correctly so if I can just label it as year one two and now I will just you know copy these two and I will drag it here so that Excel can automatically fill for me so all five years have the same depreciation chart that is 160,000 now one important thing that I want you to notice is that if I sum all of them here that will be if I can just sum here for you uh, sum of all of these that will be 800,000 in total so that is what we expect for the depreciation to be because you purchased the asset for a million dollar and you will sell it for 200,000 that means the total depreciation should be 800,000 and that is how we have worked out in a straight line method now you must be uh, thinking that teacher is going so much basic why is uh, so because this is uh, we are using very simple method in this uh, particular example but as we move forward to other methods of depreciation these basic concepts will be very helpful for us now i will just delete the total depreciation here and i will move to the formula now so rather than working so much here on this uh, simple manual calculation using microsoft excel we can use this formula of microsoft excel which says equals sln sln states for stands for straight line depreciation and uh, the formula is sln that is function and then cost and then salvage value and then life so if i can just do it here i will just be using the values from the above example i will write sln now excel is giving me the uh, formula here i will just press the tab on my keyboard tab uh, the tab key and you can see that excel has opened the formula for me now first thing excel is asking me is cost you can see here what excel is asking you the first thing they are asking us is cost so i will go up there and i will select the cell then i will select the salvage value that is here and then i will select the life that is here and then i will close the bracket and i will press enter and you will see that excel has correctly given you the same calculation the same answer that you have worked out here so you could do manually using uh, this method here straight line method or you can uh, use this formula now definitely you are thinking that it was a uh, very simple even without formula as well yes for straight line it was but for other methods it will not be so we will learn the formulas and we will follow the formulas for all the depreciation so that is it so that is depreciation charge for each year now you can copy and paste this to all five years if i can just write it here like year one and then year two or maybe i should have worked out all of this here so i will just 
copy and paste and i cannot paste it like that you know it will be a relative reference and that will be a problem for me so i will just copy and paste just to show you and you can see that it is an error and if i can just open the formula you can see excel is giving the relative reference so before i copy and paste what i'm going to do is that i'm going to lock the cells using the pressing using the f4 key and now if i copy and paste to next five years i will delete the first one next five years year one year two and onwards you can see that excel has done the same thing for us and using this fast track approach so that is the straight line method i i, I really hope that you have you must have find it very simple